Hello everyone, this is Minecravix here, and welcome to episode 6 of Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And you might already notice some major changes from the, from the previous episode. As you can see, I've already started a little garden here. Um, the reason I made it so little, because I was actually planning to make a bigger garden, but then I remembered that when we get our mob grinder going, we're gonna always, like, bone meal it, and we're not gonna have to waste land on farming, because, um... Uh, uh, the land inside the encased area is quite expensive for me, so uh, I decided to just uh, conserve space and um, Like I said when we get our mob grinder going when we're gonna have a lot of bones and thus we're gonna have a lot of bone meal so um, I might even have an automatic like a, a semi-automatic um, farm uh, which will take up uh, 10 times less space than a conventional farm and will be 10 times faster and more efficient um, as you can probably see, there's this huge tree growing out from there. Uh, I'm quite low on hunger and health, so I might as well collect some carrots right here. Um, I completely ran out of um, food, so uh, I just decided to start farming. Another thing that I did is I placed... Um, I ran back to my base over there, and I took a bunch of supplies, including these iron bars. I took the iron bars off the other blacksmith in the village, and since I don't have access to glass right now, I just, I'm just using these as kind of like uh, windows, because it looks very ugly inside without any um, spaces outside, like without any views to the outside. Um, so I also moved my um, cobblestone generator inside here, uh, and as you can see, I also put um, obsidian right there just so I can uh, kind of AFK the cobble. Um, I also made an infinite water source right here. Uh, I placed a bunch of uh, chests right here and um, put um, the signs up. So right here is uh, bulk slime balls, uh, bulk tools broke and unbroke. Uh, bulk wood and wood products, semi-bulk cobblestone slash stone products, and semi-bulk dirt. And the reason I didn't place spaces there is because uh, I, I would have ran out of space um, to write on the sign. Um, this is just my general chest. Uh, this is my main base of operations. This is where I'm usually at. Um, agriculture, which is right next to the chest of the general because agriculture is very important. This also includes food. Uh, so this is bulk agriculture. This is for when I uh, get some automatic farms. I'll be able to um, get a lot of agricultural supplies at once, such as carrots, uh, wheat, bread, or uh, something like that. Uh, right here is semi-bulk mob drops, not including slime balls, because my slime balls are stored right there. Uh, and the reason it's semi-bulk is because when we're going to have a mob grinder, I'm also going to have an outpost house, which has bulk uh, mob grinder, uh, I mean bulk um, mob drop storage, because um, we can place all of the bulk mob drops inside my house, because that would require about 10 chests, so uh, I'm planning to build a second building over there that houses uh, most of the really bulk items that we don't really need to access very often. Um, right here is transportation and rails. This is a very far out one. This is for when I'm going to make uh, uh, boat transportation systems. Uh, redstone and mechanics. This is for when I'm going to acquire redstone from witches and just by trading. Um, and just place just pistons and redstone stuff like that and just general mechanics. Uh, this is nether items. This is for when we get to the nether, which is not that far out. I'm planning to get to the nether by episode 10. Um, nether items too, just in case, because uh, I do collect lots of nether rack inside the nether, and this is where all of my nether items are going to be held. Uh, rare items and valuables, this includes very rare loot and uh, stuff like that, but probably most of my valuables are going to be held in the general chest, but this is just uh, in case I'm going to have a lot of uh, valuables in the future. And this is just other. Uh, I'm also going to have a lot of... Um, I think I'm going to have a bit more chests here, but... Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this land, I guess. I mean, the the middle space. Well, I'm also going to have... I think that in the middle right here, I'm going to make an enchantment table and surround with bookcases. Somewhere around here, I'm going to have a brewing station with chests and some water so I can brew potions up. Uh, but that's something late game, and I wouldn't worry about that right now. 
Um, so, also one thing that I did is I actually collected a crap ton of cobble. As you can see, all this cobblestone is going to go towards the building of uh, my mob grinder, um, which I'm going to build very, very soon. Uh, that's probably going to be the first thing I'm going to do off camera. Um, so, like I said, I created the... I also made... I also lit up the ceiling. I, uh, um... Um... I just lit up a bunch of the other areas. I created this amazing wood farm, which supplies me with lots and lots of wood. Um, now resources are plenty. Um, so yes, this is also where I have my dirt. This is my general chest, some buckets, uh, just uh, fast access line balls in case I need them. Books, since they're uh, not really um, like I couldn't really group them anywhere else. Just some signs, ladders some non-bulk uh, mob drops, some torches, just obsidian, iron leggings, um, stone slab, just stuff like that. Um, so another thing let me show you is that uh, I actually did not hack any of the cobblestone in from the creative menu uh, because if I go into statistics you can see on the blocks right here that I actually mined cobblestone 4071 times. Uh, so all of that is is work done by me and in survival and no cheats or anything like that so uh, yeah so another thing that I'd like to show you oh wow we got quite we didn't get that much carrots from that did we ah uh, it's okay now that I have lots of wood I can uh, make baked potatoes which replenish lots of health well I mean uh, which replenish a lot of hunger there they have a pretty high value of hunger Anyway, I, I don't think I'll collect that now. I'll just wait for later. Uh, another thing that I want to show you guys is um, how I emptied out my my um, my original base. So let me just run there. I would usually not run, but since now that I have extra food, I, I can run and hop at the same time just because I don't really need that much food. Uh, and I do have enough food. And wow. Something happened here seems like there was a fire here also yes I think there was another fire here just um, a while ago I think um, I still I actually still have a lava here maybe I should take it out I don't know but uh, just in case I'm um, I, th I think I'll leave it because just in case I'm over here and uh, and I need cobblestone I could easily take cobblestone from here and as you can see it, it works just as well and there's also obsidian there which uh, it's kind of a waste of obsidian because uh, well, I I placed the obsidian that wasn't an item, but the obsidian that I placed in the um, um, cobblestone generator at my base that was actually created by just um, taking lava and then pouring water on top of it, and that obsidian is less expensive because uh, I can't yet collect obsidian, and I won't be able to collect obsidian unless I find a diamond pickaxe or some diamonds from a um, from a. Um, from a blacksmith's chest in a neighboring village and that's actually one thing that I was planning to do is that uh, in the near future I'm planning to uh, go and find another village and eventually find that original village where I was from and also if, if you can see I collected some wood over there however I won't collect any of the wood there anymore because these slimes just kill me a lot let me just go and show you into my statistics menu in the mobs section uh, so slime killed me six times. Well, I wouldn't say that's that much, but they're still annoying. They, they, if I jump down there, they will kill me in seconds, no matter what armor I have. Um, another thing I did is I just interconnected some of the houses here, so I won't have to deal with the slimes. I, I just built these little bridges so I could go here. Uh, just a bridge right here, just uh, just in case I ever have to go to the library. Um, just, I just decided to build a ladder down here, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this area here. I think I won't actually do anything just for, uh, just, uh, just, just in case if I ever need it, just because I don't like walking under there in the slimes. Um, I also connected this, and as you can see, I also collected some, um, um, some wood from there too, but quite a bit of slimes actually killed me, so that didn't turn out too well. Uh, I also, I, I broke some glass here, I broke some glass here, and I connected the church with this other church right here. Uh, so now there's access to this church as well. Um, I also connected to this other blacksmith and put, um, put this, um, 
ladder here, and the reason for that is so I could grab the lava. As you can see, there's only one lava here. That's what I used for obsidian. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect these furnaces just in case if I ever have to put them around my base. Uh, and I didn't just I did not want to place just one here because I could just jump up in. I don't really want to waste that much uh, ladder for for a place that I'm probably never going to come to. Uh, so if I ever need to, I think I might also connect this area as well. And yeah, that's what I have been doing the past um, few hours or so. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is... Yeah, I don't think this episode will be very long. I'm just basically updating you on the things that I've been doing. And oh yes, this whole chest is all cleared out. I just moved all of the things into my other base. Um, I don't know, maybe I should take this bed with me. Uh, nah, this will be a reminder of my first base. I don't think I will deconstruct this area. I'll just use it as a secondary base if I ever need to. Uh, but obviously got that really nice tunnel here. Uh, oh yes, also here's one thing that I could do. I think I'm going to place some stairs here just so I wouldn't have to hop. And since I have a lot of cobblestone, I don't think it, I think it will be a great investment. Um, however, I don't know about... Okay, let me see. Maybe I should... Oh, yes. This isn't good. Let me just cover this up like that. Let's break some right here. Uh, place some torches here. And I'll have to break that too up there as well. Just... Oh, yes. I'm going to place the block right here. Um, place another one right here. Uh, seems like everything is... Yeah, there we go. Now I won't have to hop up all the time. I could just go up like this. That's also what I'm planning to do on that one too. So, and just uh, craft some more stairs just in case. Um, so, I would like to say that the start of this uh, Let's Play series and uh, the Super Flat Survival in general has been a, a fairly positive one because um, we were able to find uh, saplings and iron in the same village even though we got blown up by a creeper and lost all of our stuff in the previous village um, yeah there's no slimes up there because uh, yeah yep that's great uh, so like I said before we got killed remember the other time that we got killed by those uh, um, I think we got, oh yes, we got blown up by a creeper the other time when we were in another village. We got blown up by a creeper and lost all of our iron and saplings, and then we, we were able to find them very well. I really like these underground passages. They're really convenient considering all these slimes jumping around during the daytime and uh, nighttime and, and the mobs during the nighttime as well. Um, so what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all this cobblestone here. And I'm going to build myself a mob grinder. And um, if you guys want to see me build a mob grinder, I have a tutorial on that, which is named uh, Minecraft Mob Grinder 1.8 slash 1.9. Uh, and I wouldn't want to bore you guys out, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. It has been quite a short episode. Uh, however,. I would say this is more like an update than an episode because uh, I haven't been really doing anything. I just showed you the progress that I have been doing. And I really don't want to make my Let's Plays too boring. I just like to film the adventurous parts when I actually go. Like, I'm going to film an episode. Next episode is going to be about when I'm going, th when I'm going to search for new villages. That's a more kind of adventurous thing and more interesting to watch. But the building part, the collecting cobblestone part, and the farming part, I don't think you guys are interested in that, so, uh, uh thank you very, very much for watching, um, I appreciate very much, uh, if you want to, um, binge watch all of my episodes of the series, you could go to the playlist section, and there will be a playlist that says, uh, that has the same name as the series, so basically Vanilla Super Flat Survival, um, so, yes, and I add all the uh, episodes of this series into that playlist, so if you ever want to search for other episodes, just go to that playlist and uh, you'll find all the current episodes. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. This was my Kralix. Uh, see you all in the next episode, which will be episode 7. This was episode 6. Episode 6 is officially ended.